Besides dust. What's up, ninjas? What's up, man? How you doing? How you darn? Let's pull up in that little granny yard right here. I actually just pulled up and I uh, figured I'd go ahead and make a little video since I haven't had a chance to make a video the last day or two. My customer just paid me. It's showing me right here a little, little, uh, you know, little message there. Anyway, listen, <laughs> he's texting me. Hold on. Let me, there you go. He's, uh, what, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. Before I jump out of here, take care of this small little granny yard. How you ninjas doing? What is today? What is today? Thunder Pumper Tuesday. Yeah. Thunder Pump Tuesday, man. And we've had some thunder. And uh, no rain, though. At least not where I've been. I think it's been raining in other parts of town. I got rained on yesterday. I had to actually sit in the truck. Those of you who follow me on Instagram at SG underscore ninjas underscore official... Uh, I got bored. I was sitting there probably for a good 20, 30 minutes waiting until the rain stops so I can go slice and dice on this glass. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I want to dedicate this video because I really haven't had a lot of time. A lot of you ninjas know, a lot of you have been messaging me and asking me, uh, hey, but Nick, where's the videos, Nick? Why haven't you uploaded any videos? Or why aren't you been regularly on the videos <sighs> like I have in the past? Well, ninjas, this year has been really a challenging year than any other year. Um, I've had a lot of good happen to me this year, and I've had some challenging things happen to me. So one of the craziest things this year that's really been happening with me is, you know, this is like the first full year with the wrap on the truck. And when I have people literally, I just picked up another one, by the way, starting tomorrow. It's insane. And I do have an addiction. You know what kind of addiction I have, ninjas? I got to admit it. I have an addiction. The addiction is I'm having a hard time turning down yards. So I have more yards coming my way than ever before. I know a lot of that has to do with the truck. Uh, whether they just see the truck in the neighborhood but it, or whether they see it in passing and call me, I'm not really sure, but I'm catching people's eyes and uh, the wrap and the truck itself is definitely, um, it, it, it catches people's attention, right? And at least that's what I believe. I believe that's that's one of them. Could it also be just the fact that the longer you're in business, uh, you know, the longer you stay in business in years and years, you build up a reputation, you know, word of mouth spreads very easily. And, you know, so it could be that too. Who knows? So the good thing is I've had more work come my way than ever before. The challenging thing this year that I think a lot of you ninjas even know yourselves uh, as you have seen in some of the recent videos, is employees, man, employees. And I'm not the only one because I have talked to literally several people and not just in the lawn care industry, but even other industries and even tree companies and and uh, spraying companies. I've even talked to them and I've even talked to other lawn care guys. And I don't know what it is this year. It's always, you know, hard to find good help, right? But this year, it seems like it's fine to, it's fine to, it's hard to, it's hard to find any help. So, you know, and I think that's why a lot of people stay solo. I don't know. I like it. I mean, I'm used to going solo. I still, I look, I don't mind. I wouldn't mind if I can find somebody. Speaking of, a new guy's supposed to start tomorrow, ninjas. Woo! We'll see if he even shows up. We'll see, we'll see if he even shows up. But. With all that being said, I really just, you know, my business comes first. Business comes first. And that's something that I've been preaching and saying to you ninjas many, many ninja years ago, right? I mean, business comes first. YouTube is second. If I have more work than, you know, and I'm behind because of rain and because of the situation and I'm going solo, then I'm going to put my business first and YouTube is going to, you know, just have to wait. Look, I've always said this to you ninjas before, right? I'm just a lawn care guy making YouTube videos. <laughs> I'm not a YouTuber making lawn care videos. There is a difference. Not that there's anything wrong with neither one of them. Okay. I'm just saying there's a difference. That's it. So I'm just a lawn care guy. So lawn care comes first. YouTube videos come second. And I think as a YouTuber, if I was a YouTuber, fully committed YouTuber, then my YouTube videos would come first. And then the lawn care would come second. I would just be like, whatever, I can't get to it. You know, 
I'll get to what I can, but that's not the case with me. My business comes first. And that's why I've been slacking on the videos. But what I wanna dedicate and commit this little short video today is, and I've been thinking about this, and I know I'm, I, I don't know if I've mentioned this at all, really in a little bit in detail, but I probably touched on it, Ninjas. I, you know, I've got a lot of videos up, so I'm sure I'll, I've touched on this, but I know there's a lot of us out there, and look, this, this business is not easy. I've said this before, we all know this. Um, but when you have the proper equipment, it makes life easier. So never be afraid to invest in your business, okay? Uh, never be afraid to buy equipment, buy mowers and trimmers and things like that that are better, stronger, right? That will make life a little easier because it already is hard out here as it is. So, you know, people have asked me why, you know, why do I have two, three mowers on the trailer, just for example? Well, you know, they're different size decks and I have so many yards that a lot of my yards require different decks in order for me to be efficient productive and still make a reasonable amount of money where I feel like it's profitable for me and my business. So like if I, you know, pull up in a bigger yard, then, you know, I would use the 61, just an example. Uh, if I pull up to a nice little granny yard like this one, you know, I have an option. I can use the 52. 52 will probably leave a nicer cut, right? Because it's not a huge deck. But I, might, I could use the 61 too. It really depends if I'm running uh, how I am on time and if I'm a little behind or whatnot. So I have options, ninjas. It's all about options, okay? And then of course, of course, you gotta have the 36, you know, cause I've got quite a few back, you know, back gates to the backyards that I'm not push mowing anymore. I'm not doing that. I'm not about that life anymore. I used to be when I first started, you know, I started with a push mower. I'm not doing that anymore. It's not profitable. It's not profitable. You know, it is when you're a smaller business and I'm not a huge business, don't get me wrong. But when you're, when you got maybe a five, 10 yards and all you want to do is push mode, that's what I did when I first started, then it's fine. You know, but I'm at this point where if I push mode a yard, I mean, I would lose so much money. It's not even funny. So I can't do that. So that's why I needed 36. So look, and you know, I didn't start out with all these mowers. You know, I built up to this stuff. It took me years to build up to this stuff. And uh, you know, and then once I got them, you know, every two, three years, I would either trade one in for another one or whatever, once the warranty runs out, whatever the case may be. And that's, you know, when you're starting out your business, you, you're you not gonna have maybe those options right away, but you build up to that. I didn't have those options when I first started, but I built up to it. So, but in order to build up to that, what do you gotta have? What do you gotta have, ninjas? Anybody know? Anybody? Money, you gotta have money. So that means you gotta work, you gotta land accounts, you gotta definitely stay consistent and uh, get your clientele going and uh, you know, build up your capital. You build up your capital, you know, you can make life easier out here, as easy as possible. No matter how what you have, at the end of the day, you still gotta come out here in this heat. You still gotta mow, you still gotta trim, you still gotta blow off, you're gonna sweat, okay? And uh, that's just, that's just what it is. But, I want to go ahead and tell you, like, I, when I mow, I have a certain, I've shared this on Instagram actually here fairly recently. I ha, I don't just come out here every day and just mow yards, you know, just, well, this is my list. Oh, this is what I got. I guess I got five today or 10 or 15 or 20. You know, I have a certain quota that I have created for myself, a certain quota slash goal slash plan, whatever you want to call it. And I go by that. And I, I am religiously sticking to my quota. I, in my own mind, right? What I've told myself, I have to make that quota every day, every week in order to make what I want to make per month. Now I know I don't need to make that. Like I'll, you know, if I don't, get close to it or something, you know, it's fine. And some days I'll have more and some days I'll have less. It just depends on the weather and energy and things like that. Or if you come across certain issues, it could be equipment stuff, could be, you know, there's certain times, you know, certain days where clients, it just seems like, it just seems like all the clients want to talk to me on certain days, you know, and that takes up some time, but I always take time for my clients. Um, so I go based on that. And, you know, I'll tell you, I don't care. Like I told myself 
my personal goal is I want to make between 500 to 1,000 per day. And that's just what I have told myself and I'm sticking with that. And sometimes, you know, it'll be on the lower end, closer to the five, and sometimes it'll be up in the higher end, into the thousand or 1100, 900, you know, but as long as I stay within that five to five to 10, I, I almost said five to 1000, then I have, uh, you know, I've achieved my goal. And that, that's what I do. I have a quota, you know, I have a quota monthly. In order to achieve my quota monthly, I have to do certain things every week. And in order to, to achieve certain amount every week, I have to make that quota every day. Does that make sense? So anyway, there's money in this industry. We all know that, but you're, you have to work. And as you grow with your business and as you continue to gain clientele, you'll be able to afford more equipment that will make not only those goals and dreams and quotas that you might create for yourself very possible but it'll also make life a little easier and you'll be able to achieve those goals a lot easier does that make sense i hope it does but anyway that's what i'm doing hey i gotta go i hope you ninjas have been doing well stay tuned i've got a lot of lots of lots of lot a lot a lot of cool products that have uh, been sent to me. Uh, I truly am enjoying these products. I think they're super fun and I really need to do a bunch of unboxing and reviewing. Just haven't had time. So bear with me. I'll be popping out, you know, whoop, 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 like a ninja, you know, whoop -a uh, I'll be popping out a lot of new videos with unboxing and reviewing some things that have been sent to me. I think they're really cool and I think you guys will enjoy them as well. But yeah, so it'll be fun. And, and stay tuned. I'll keep you posted if this uh, new guy shows up or not. But Biggie has been really awesome, man. I really appreciate him. Uh, I appreciate his kind words. As For those of you who might have missed this last video, he had uh, uh, very nice things to say. I, it really means a lot to me. I did not expect that. Just an awesome kid. I did share a text message that he sent to me. He was wanting to come back and still probably is, but uh, to give it one more shot. And I told him that's fine. You know, he's welcome to try it again, but he did accept another job. Um, and so he's currently working there, but he says if that doesn't work out, then he'll definitely uh, contact me back and we might try it again. But we'll see. And at that point, if this guy shows up tomorrow, he might he might work out. Maybe not. Maybe he will, maybe it'll be a no call, no show. Who knows, right? But that's really been the challenge this season. More work than ever before. And I've been working seven days a week, reaching my quotas every day. And yeah, I've just been killing. I've been working it, you know, ever since the season started seven days a week. I mean, but pretty much ever since those rains a couple of weeks ago, man, I, I've just been kicking it kicking tail and the guys that have come on board I, like that new guy that worked for a week I mean he helped me get caught up a little bit no doubt and uh, Big E uh, Big E <laughs> uh, he he is uh, he's, he's he's been a good help you know what I mean he's been okay I mean slowed me down a little bit I'm not gonna lie but it was nice to having another person there and just uh, shooting the bull and you know, it made time pass by, even though things were going a little slower. But yeah, I gotta go, ninjas. Enough of that. Hope all of you are staying safe out there. Stay cool, stay hydrated, you know, do your thing. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted and see how tomorrow turns out. I gotta go, because I've already been paid for that yard. And I'm over here jibber jabbing, <laughs> jibber jabbing. Take care.